a bit of late dramatics here today. The lads keep going and they get that all important point in the end. You must be pleased with the resilience they showed in the game. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we played far better recently, and that's why at half time I tried to give them a bit of encouragement rather than just nail them and, and undermine confidence. And um, it's not easy because you think if you know this is far removed from the standard of performance uh, we've been playing. But you've got to find a way, and uh, and the team did did that and left it late and not good for the for the heart at all. Uh, but you could feel the raw emotion of it, you know, and in the celebrations um, and the ovation from the, the supporters after. And it's um, sometimes we play really good football in this season, and yet lost the game. Um, but we stuck in it, and it was whether you, you still got to remember moments like Warren Burrell's tackle that blocked a certain goal. Um, but stay in it, stay in it, stay in it. Even at two 0 it, um, it was our turn to get lay goals today. Yeah, I mean, there was chances in the match before we got that first goal, but we never really seemed to kick on for those. But are you pleased to see those chances maybe paying off now in the fact that we got a point out of the game where we did play, create some good chances and play some good football at times? Yeah, well, it, it is uh, showing resilience and holding your nerve and uh, as excruciating it, as it was for the majority of the game. Um, the lads just didn't lie down and just accept it and think, well, it's just not our day. We've, we, we've underperformed today. They kept at it. Um, so I'll focus on that uh, and have belief in them as, as lads because I know they want it because you could see how, how much they're pouring forward and just trying desperately for it. Um, you know, we took plenty of stick from both sets of supporters today, um, but that's a, 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 maybe a sign of the football club evolving that we've got true fans You know that love you when you're winning and, and hate you when you're losing, but at least... They're on that wave of emotion, just as we are when we're living and breathing it and working day in, day out. Yeah, and you spoke about the, the efforts and from the lads in training, but there must be a certain level of fitness in there to keep going till that last kick of the ball and get the, the rewards for that. So you must be pleased with that way, only seven, eight games remaining. We've got to show the fight. You know, it's um, it's a big enough cause, isn't it? You know, we've worked so hard as a club to get to this level. Um, we need to fight to stay up. Um, and we can't just turn up at places, you know, like at Monday and just show our face and not really expect to do anything. Um, we've got to get on the coach, Boyd, from this comeback that was shown great te um, team camaraderie and fighting spirit and take it on and, and perform better than we did today. Um, but go there expecting um, to perform well. I think we take momentum from that. I know it isn't three points, but last minute winners sometimes it can feel like that when you've picked up a win, even though you haven't. Do you think that's confidence we can take? confidence can, uh, that, that we can take from it is that we can play pretty lousy and, and still dig in and get something from a game against the team that were in League One last year. Um, you know, I'm sure they expected to come here and roll us over. Um, we were nowhere near, say, recent performances. Um, but we've scored another couple of goals, missed a couple of point-blank efforts. Um, and we know we can do so much better. Um, but what the momentum we'll take is definitely stems from the the courage and, and bravery the show the, the players show in the last 20 minutes.